Greetings everyone. Welcome to grinding for a character part 1. And because my daily commission isn't done, I have to do it first. Okay then, 3 more to go. So this is artifact farming. Artifact farming is all about this. When farming artifacts, you will have to understand the part that you won't get good artifacts unless you do it for like one year. I have been doing it for like after the content's release and I haven't got any good parts. So because of this, another thing there is to counter that feature which is using fragile resin. Now fragile resin is very hard to get and if you use them, you run out of them very fast without getting any good artifacts. So in other words, no matter what you do, you will gotta have to wait for the one year. We are very determined about this grinding. This is why we are now underwater for our Nebulathe's material. Once again, this grinding is for Nebulathe and Nebulathe requires transoceanic pearls, which you can get a lot in underwater. If you try to find them upper water, then it's kinda hard. On the surface, there are less transoceanic pearls than the underwater. And if you farm underwater, there's a lot. This is one of the few characters that will let you get the monsters drop very easily because transoceanic pearls is very easy to get. But other characters, not all of them is easy. Like the Abyss Mage is kind of annoying. One of the most annoying part about the grinding after the character building is the weapon building. Weapon building is uh, equal annoying to the uh, character building part but sometimes less annoying but I have the 90 level with it and this is the best weapon if you don't have the signature weapon in other words you can use the with it and if it's already 90 level you're lucky just like me now this is time for farming Lumio tile I guess this is the spelling of that starfish looking like thing this thing is the ascension material for Nebulate you need 168 piece of them, you can collect them, it's not a monster drop. And now let's go to the Lumio tiles area. The area is not released, so Paimon is not letting us in. We gotta wait for 4.1. Now about Nebulethe's Ascension boss material. It is Fontaimar Horn, it looks something like this. And it is dropped from the Millennials Pearl Seahorse. So, let's now go to farm it. Iman is stopping us even in the underwater. Well, <laughs> okay, then seriously, what can we farm before 4.1? Okay, let me show you. Before that, let me get disconnected first. Okay, so I successfully got disconnected. Now let me show you the items that we can actually farm in Genshin Impact 4.0 before Nebulathe arrives. Of course, you can farm for the Xenochromatic Crystal, Transoceanic Chunk and Transoceanic Pearl. And save some Varuna the Lazarus like I did. It's easy to farm like there is a lot of source. Of course, you can also farm the Philosophy's Obiquity, which is for Nebulathe. Now, you gonna need like 90 of these, but if you're not leveling up one of the skills, then you need like 60. Yes, you can skip the, I guess, ultimate skill. It is the last priority. You can like increase the basic attack and the skill. These two are enough and is the main skill of Nebulathe. What? That blue word isn't looking good. That means I haven't done Nahida's quest line. In other words, I gotta do that long quest line and I'm gonna probably get bored to death. Okay, don't be like me and do the quest line and you will get the Guardian of Apple boss. After getting the boss opened, you gotta kill it. You need 6 of these boss drops for each of your talent, 18 for all the 3 of them. 12 is enough if you're not increasing the ultimate skill. Now there is something you guys cannot farm if you don't have. You know what that is? That is called the crown. The crown is a legendary item in Genshin Impact. 
only drop in certain events. Let me show you the icon if you don't know what I'm talking about. These are called crowns. Crown of insight only from limited duration events. And I have six of them because I am awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. The grinding doesn't end but the video is going to end and this is where it ends. See you next time.